Oh my goodness gracious. How stunning are those? Wow. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. A couple of weeks ago, I had my new friend, Johnny Ross, Mr. Johnny Ross, come on my channel. He like literally flew to Utah to film a collab with me. You guys seem to love the video so much, which I'm so happy about. We had a blast together. Anyway, we did a video using all drugstore products and the products that he used looked amazing and I hadn't tried the majority of them. So what did I do? I bought them. So Johnny, you made me buy these. Of course, nobody can make you buy something, but I sure wanted to try so many of the things that he talked about. So I have mostly drugstore products, but I did end up picking up a foundation that he talked about. Now this wasn't in the video, but he talked about it to me. Before we filmed, he was like, have you tried the Dior matte foundation? And I said, no. And he said, what are you doing? And so I said, I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna be trying his favorite high-end foundation because I just had to. And then we have so many other things that he tried in the video. So let's do our makeup. Also, I ended up ordering a few of these things on Ulta's website. And when I first ordered this, it shattered in the mailer. Literally it was like, cocoa powder was in the package. And so we had to go to Ulta and luckily they had one in the back. So I had to like find this after my original one broke. Anyway, we're gonna start off with, should we do complexion first? I think so. And then we'll do eyes, which he loved and talked about the Moira eyeshadows. And I happen to have the entire PR package. So I just grabbed this from my PR stash and I'm gonna be trying some of those as well. But we're gonna start with his favorite foundation. So this is the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. This is probably extra of me, but I did end up getting two shades just because Dior foundations, the shades are kind of tricky for me. I got zero N, which seems like it might be too light. Let me just see. I'm gonna try to do a little shade match here. Okay, like that might work, but it also looks a little bit light. Then I got 0.5 N, which is a little more yellow, but that one might work better for me. Or maybe I'll just be extra and I'll mix the shades because I kind of like the undertone of the zero one more. It's a little bit more neutral. So I don't actually know much about this foundation. I've actually heard um, really good things about the luminous version of this foundation as well. Oh, see, mixed I feel like is best. I don't know, hopefully anyway. I don't have any primer on, so I'm just gonna start working this into the skin. It feels very, very lightweight. It does have a classic Dior scent to it, which I wish some of these high-end brands didn't make such like perfumey foundations, but here we are. I feel like that gave really nice coverage, but it actually feels really lightweight. A lot of times when I think of matte foundations, at least from the past, I think about heavier foundations, but this is a very lightweight kind of a matte foundation. Wow, the fact that I didn't even use a primer, which I feel like if I prepped the skin like I normally would, it would look even better. But when I try out new foundations, I like to just go in without a primer to see how it holds up on its own. But I mean, upon application, that looks so pretty. I also bought this because of him. So this is the Milani Under Eye Brightener. I got mine in the shade Rose. He used the shade um, Melon. But since I'm super fair, I figured Rose would be a better color for me. So I'm gonna use this to color correct underneath the eyes. Oh, I feel like that actually worked really well. The formula of this is nice too. My goodness, I have leftover eyeshadow on my eyelid. What in the world? Oh well. <laughs> And then I picked up this right here because we both did have the same favorite concealer, the NYX Serum Concealer. But he talked about this Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer that he uses as like an eye primer. Um, I am gonna use it under the eyes as well because it's supposed to be like a really heavy duty type of a concealer. So I'm gonna do a little bit like that. And then I am gonna put it on the eyelids because that's what Johnny did, so. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. What shade did I end up with? Shade 21. I wanted something pretty bright, so I definitely think I chose correctly if I wanted a brightening shade. Then I'm gonna use this to kind of cancel out the eyelids as well, which, wow, it really does have tons of coverage, which is super nice. And then I was so excited to try out this powder. See, the thing is when we filmed together, I was able to see everything up close and his makeup looked amazing. I already have high hopes for these products because in the past, like even before we met each other in real life, his recommendations worked really well for me. So I'm really excited to try all these. So this is the um, NYX HD powder. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my Beauty Blender Puff. This is so lightweight feeling. And I'm just gonna kind of take that and press it underneath the eyes. Oh wow, very, very smoothing. As well as through the T-zone. And then something that he taught me that I had never seen anybody do. Well, okay, a couple things. He showed me this powder and I'm not sure if it like made it into the actual edit of the video because we sat and filmed for like two and a half hours. So not everything made it in there, but he was showing me this powder 
the mint green color correcting powder for redness and I had never seen this. You guys know I have redness on my cheeks. So I wanted to see how this would work. I, I bought it obviously, here we are. I wanted to see how this would work as like a color corrector after applying foundation. So I'm gonna just kind of go in with this onto the cheeks to see if that kind of neutralizes any redness that's showing through. Oh, I definitely think it does. I had never even heard of this mint green color powder, but I thought it was really, really brilliant. And then something else I learned, see that's the thing, it wasn't just like good product recommendations, it was like good tips and tricks that he shared. He showed me this Essence powder foundation, which I ended up having in my collection. I just hadn't tried this yet. So I'm gonna take this powder foundation. This is the shade 02 Champagne. And what he told me is instead of like adding more products underneath, just going in with a powder foundation to kind of add more coverage and to blend things later. I'm not sure if this is exactly the order that he did these things, but I'm just trying to like kind of sort of do what he taught me. So I'm just buffing a little bit more of this all over the face. Things are looking really good. Okay, as you saw, I bought the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. It comes in two shades. This is the one for lighter skin. I'm gonna start by applying the lighter shade across the face. I'm gonna use this as kind of like bronzer as well. Maybe I'll actually mix the two for like the forehead. I saw a lot of you guys comment that this is one of your favorite products and I'm surprised that I literally had never seen it before. <laughs> but something else he taught me, which maybe I should add a little bit of bronzer first. I was trying to use that as my bronzer, but I'm switching gears a little bit and taking my Milani bronzer, which I was gonna use the Essence bronzing palette that he showed me, but I can't find it. I thought I had it. So I'm kind of improvising here. Just doing a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna take the lighter contour color and use this down the sides of the nose. I actually love how light that is, especially for nose contour. I'm also gonna take that through the crease a little bit. Okay, and then my favorite part was after bronzing is when he went in with more of a precise brush, which I'm just gonna use the same brush I was using because it has a little bit more of a tapered edge and added the contour on top after, which I thought was so smart because then you get to keep a little bit of that like precision. And then he took the sponge with the powder and kind of like chiseled out some more areas on the face, like the sides of the nose. He said he usually uses a powder that has a bit more coverage than this one, but I'm just gonna copy what he did in the video with this powder. And then he just kind of dusts that away. Goodness gracious, everything's looking so nice. I'm gonna fill my brows really fast with my handy dandy Benefit brow pencil. Goodness gracious, that powder looks amazing, especially under the eye area. Speaking of eyes, let's hop into these Moira pigments. So if you guys watched the video, you would have seen that he used this incredible pink color and it blended out like a dream. I was mesmerized. They have so many fun colors in this range. Of course, I'm probably gonna be more basic. <laughs> That's just how I am. I'm kind of wanting to like think through the entire look before choosing a color because I have like a lipstick I want to wear that he told me about. Um, I'm not gonna lie, these glitter shades are really mesmerizing. I'm wanting to try number 22 therapy session. How cute is that? It has like pink and peach and green shifts. And then I think maybe either this pink with it or could go just like for a classic taupey brown with it. What do we like better? The pink with it or the brown with it? Maybe both. <laughs> Let's start with the light pink. This is called Take It Easy. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. It's very light and pastel, so we'll see if this even shows up the way I want it to. I'm gonna take some of that off the back of my hand, and I'm gonna tap out any of the excess concealer that we have, and then kind of use this all over. So yeah, this is a very light, almost pastel pink. So I'm kind of switching gears in my mind now and applying this all over kind of as a base. Really pretty soft pastel pink though. Very retro feeling. All right, so now I'm taking some of the more brown color. This is the shade My Way. I'm picking that up on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this to kind of shape out the eye. This is also a very light, wearable, kind of subtle color, but I actually love how that looks, especially with more of a glittery topper that we're gonna use. I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line as well to define it. And then we're gonna take the Therapy Session Liquid Pigment. Oh, this looks so pretty. Look at the shift of that. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed already. I'm gonna take that on the same brush just because I'm lazy. And I'm just gonna start applying that all over the eyelid. Okay, these glittery ones. Oh my goodness gracious. How stunning are those? Wow. I feel like I need a little bit more on the other eye. This one's like a low chunk glitter. <laughs> if you know, you know. So stunning though, oh my gosh. I love how that looks. I'm gonna take that across the lower lash line a little bit and then I'm gonna blend it out with my brush. 
just for some extra sparkle and pizzazz. Gosh, those are so pretty. I'm obsessed. I feel like I want a little bit of a nude pencil on the waterline. So I'm just taking this one from Chantecaille. Then let's do some mascara. In honor of Johnny Ross, we'll do the Give mascara because he's the one that I saw raving about this first and it made me want to try it and now I love it. Okay, I'm going to do the lips actually first and then we'll pick a blush. I'm going to take the NYX lip liner. This one's in the shade Sandstorm. And then I ended up buying a lipstick that he talked about and I can't remember if it made it into the final edit, but he added this on last minute. This is the Rimmel Kate like the Kate Moss line, shade 42, and it looked so pretty. So I bought it on Amazon and here we are. So pretty, oh my gosh. The formula is gorgeous. I'm loving that kind of soft peachy undertone. I feel like I want a little bit of something on the outer edge. So I'm going in with my Endless Cacao Pencil from Makeup Forever, just to add a little more something, like more definition to the lips. All right, before I add blush, I'm gonna kind of assess the situation and add a little more of the Milani bronzer. I feel like blush is gonna really tie this look together. Just gotta figure out what blush to wear. Let me go find one. Okay, I feel like this one would be really pretty. This is from e.l.f. It's the Always Cheeky blush. It's just kind of like a peachy color, which I think would look really nice with the eyeshadow and the lip. Gosh, that lip color is stunning. Also, this foundation is looking really good. Ah, blush just really makes all the difference. I feel like I need highlighter today. This is the one that we both gushed over in the video we filmed together. And I know you guys love this so much too, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm just gonna kind of apply that to the high points of the face. I'm taking the deeper contour shade and just adding a little more definition into the eye socket. I feel like it just was floating a little bit and I want a little more grounded. I'm taking this on the outer edge of the eye as well. All right, since I'm trying out a new foundation, I'm just gonna use my sponge to kind of press the powders down into the skin. I'm gonna skip setting spray today. Foundation looks so pretty though. And I had never even heard of this, but Johnny used this in the video we did together. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Love that. I actually used to use a clear mascara on just the lower lashes in high school because if I wanted, you know, a little more definition, I would just do clear mascara and it would kind of like make the lower lashes like piecier without actually putting product on, which I thought was nice. So I already put lower lash mascara on today, I realized, but I'm gonna do the brow mascara and we're just gonna set the brows with this. Ooh, that feels really nice. I gotta say, these products look so good. I'm especially noticing how nice the under eyes look. And I think a lot of it has to do with this powder. It looks fabulous underneath the eyes. The foundation's looking incredible. I am already obsessed with the contouring duo. I feel like it just gave like soft definition to my face without looking over the top. The eyeshadow looks amazing too. The lip color is gorgeous. So I'm thrilled about all these things. Genuinely, I feel like he has the best recommendations. So I'm gonna do just like a mini wear test today. I'll do like a little vlog clip on how everything kind of held up on me throughout the night. I'm especially excited to see how the foundation wears on me because I have high hopes for this one. So yeah, I guess we'll just cut to the vlog footage to see how everything held up. Okay, before my wear test check-in, this is a kind of check-in right after filming in natural light. Oh my gosh, like everything looks so good. This lip color to die for, it's incredible. I'm obsessed with it. So I wanted to show you guys how it looks in natural light first, and now we'll do a little wear test, okay? All right, so here is my check-in in my kitchen because this is like the best light in the house right now. It's currently 10.30 p.m. So I've been wearing this for seven hours. I would have normally uh, worn it a little longer, but I am tired, so I gotta go to bed. But with that being said, you guys, this makeup is really looking so good. The foundation has stayed intact. My oils definitely come through. That's the case with any foundation. But what I noticed is how nothing has bunched up. So if I were to have touched this up with a powder, at any point throughout the day, I think it would look better and be able to last even longer than it is right now. So really love how everything looks. The eyeshadow still looks great, like no creasing there. The lip color I loved, it wore off beautifully. So 10 out of 10, I am loving everything and I can't wait to wear everything again. So thanks Johnny for all the recommendations. I seriously love how my makeup looked today. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I bought because of Johnny. I am thrilled about all the things that I tried. 
I love how my makeup looks right now. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out the things that he recommended. Again, if you missed our video, I'll have it linked down below. We had a blast together and we both shared like our favorite affordable makeup. So if you missed it, I'll have it linked down below. And if you missed his podcast, I'll also have that linked down below. But yeah, thanks Johnny for all these recommendations. I'm thrilled about them and I hope we can collab again soon. It seems like you guys really wanted us to, so let us know. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali. I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, we want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!